when the hardware store started, uh, the most amazing thing to realize and what brought it true to me was to realize that's right after Sherman burned Atlanta and Lincoln was shot that year. And that tells you how long ago it truly was. For almost 150 years, historic Briggs Hardware has been a constant presence in Raleigh, helping to build and furnish the capital city. It's humbling um, to realize that what Raleigh once was just a dirt road, that they built the first buildings, the first houses. Evelyn Briggs Murray and her brother Mark Scruggs, along with their 80-year-old father, Marcus Scruggs, are the sixth generation of family owners. It's an honor, it's an honor not just building Raleigh, but actually, you know, contribute to its growth and direction was, was important. Back in 1865, Thomas H. Briggs started his new venture. Thomas H. had heard that Sherman was headed this way and they were fighting the um, Battle of Bentonsville. He took the um, Confederate money and changed it into silver and gold coins and buried it in Deborah Meadow and surrounded it, um, buried it at a tree, surrounded by wood, but the soldiers came and um, cut down the tree, burned the wood for firewood, and slept on top of the money. But it was that money that started Briggs Hardware. Known as Raleigh's first business, originally located on Fayetteville Street, Briggs Hardware would eventually be the city's first skyscraper at four stories tall. The hardware store sold everything from tools to toys. We were Raleigh's first toy department, and so as a kid, who wouldn't want to go there? I got to live in the land of toys, and uh, we worked every summer. We worked every Christmas break, um, preparing Santa for the entire city of Raleigh. Through the 150 years, the Briggs family saw both economic boom and hardship. To save the family business in 1995, Briggs Hardware moved just north of downtown to its present location, but a recession and the rise of the internet have led Briggs Hardware to close its doors. And that was probably the hardest. I did the last sale um, in the downtown building, and I thought that was hard until now. Families, the family's done. This is totally different. It's just me. Thank you. Thank you, Bob. We you there. Thank you so much. Appreciate your time here. It's hard to say goodbye. Most of them will tell stories. Um, most of them will hug. Most of them, are uh, sorry, uh, don't want it to go. I'm sorry. Those are the hard visits. The historic Briggs Building downtown is now home to the City of Raleigh Museum and other businesses. The Briggs family legacy can still be felt throughout the building, in the old entry railing, the creak of the floors, ancient stains, and even the tools on display. Briggs was so much your one-stop shop for everything. You know, they were the Walmarts of the, the 19th century. It just, stores like this are authentic. They are of the place and of the people, and so, um, so much of Raleigh can trace so much of how it looks, how it grew, and what it is today through the Briggs family story. As Evelyn and brother Mark ring up the last sales, just a month shy of their 150-year mark, there is sadness, but also warm memories for keeping their family's American dream alive for so many years. Honestly, pride. Pride at the accomplishment. Like I said, it won't be done again. If you make it to 100 in years, Thomas H. said, that's good enough for me. And now here we are one month away from being 150. And so I think it's pretty darn good.